Me Plain Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle, and if you are not new here, thank you for coming back. So, today I have just like a really random unboxing because my friend Beatrice <laughs> sent me something. It's not a plant. I don't know if it's plant related, but I figured since I'm sitting here filming for you guys <laughs> that we would unbox it together really quick because just because so it's from Amazon and I don't know what it is oh my god what is it what is it warning choking hazard it's a cat in a pot do you see it you guys what is this it's so cute let's open it up she said um that it reminded her of me and that I should open it on camera so you guys could see it and see my reaction. Oh my god. Stop it. It's like a little cactus kitty. I gotta put it together so it's a pot. A plant. You guys. And I think you... <laughs> you spin the bottom and it pops up with a little kitty. A little orange tabby. That's so cute. Look, just cactus. <laughs> that is freaking adorable. Thank you, girl. That is so freaking cute. We're going to put him over here where you can see him. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. So there is that um and then i figured while we were here i've had a lot of you asking me about my tattoos it's not something that i love talking about but you guys keep asking so i figured while we're doing this quick little unboxing that's not plant related that we would also talk about things that aren't plant related like what i put on my arm recently which is actually kind of like hard to show you but i put mushrooms um, on my arm there, I not any particular kind of mushroom, just like mushrooms because I thought they looked cool. And um, yeah, I'm almost done with this part of my arm. I have my moth in here that is resting on some sycamore leaves, little seed pods over there hanging out, and then obviously my moon. I gotta put a little something right here little lightning bug I think maybe a firefly I've got my bee here Mr. Fuzzbutt Fuzzy Booty Sir Fuzzy Bottom he's got many names um, and then I recently just put some leaves here to fill in this empty space I haven't decided what to put here yet um, not sure but that is what I'm looking like oh and then this rose I've shown you guys before this was done by somebody else the rest of them were done all by the same person except for that one um, and it says I love you baby doll that is my best friend's handwriting who passed away when we were 23 so yeah nine years ago but I got that for her her middle name was Rose so that's the rose and, uh, oh, and this is just a Japanese anime symbol. I feel like I've shown you guys that one before. That one's really old. You can tell compared to the other ones that it's really old. Um, it's supposed to be like bulging veins when they're mad, frustrated. I thought it was funny when I was like 18, 19 years old. So, no, actually, I think I was 22. 22 when I got that one. So, that's everything that is on my arm my least favorite is probably this one that you don't ever see. So hopefully you can see it. Um, and yes, it's a Chanel symbol. I got it when I was like 18, I think. I was going to school for fashion and um, Chanel was my favorite. And it's just, it's very poorly done. It was supposed to be small and he made it really big. So definitely need to be comfortable with telling your artist what you want and being like 
pretty firm in that. And if they're not going to be able to do it, like just find somebody who can. I mean, there are certain things that we have, like ideas we have in our heads that aren't going to translate to a tattoo. So you definitely need to like find somebody that you trust and that like has a good reputation. You feel me? And then um, what else do I have? My back. Can you guys see? I don't know if you can see it. And this one's actually from my favorite Japanese anime. Hopefully you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. It's not finished. Um, and I was going to color it in and then I changed my mind. But it's actually from Howl's Moving Castle. It's a little like eye thing that you can see on the back of his bedroom door in like two scenes, two separate scenes in that movie, which I just saw in theaters, you guys. And it made me really happy because that movie came out in 2004 and I would have been 14 and I definitely didn't see it <laughs> when I was 14. Um, so there's that. Uh, what else do I have? I have one on my hip, but I have to like pull my pants down for you to see it. Mm, so I'm not going to do that. It is a heart with a peace sign in it. And I am actually getting it covered up soon. Hopefully like the beginning of next year, maybe. I don't know. Maybe sooner than that. Not exactly sure. But we are going to cover that up probably just like with some flowers and things along those lines. So the only other one I have is on my wrist here. It's really old as well. It just says Nona. I got this when my great grandmother passed away. So I think around when I was like 19, maybe I got that one. So yeah, but all of these are more recent within the last two years on here, except for this one. And uh, I don't know, I haven't decided what to do next. It's obviously nature themed. I try to pick stuff that is native to the Northeast. Obviously, I don't know what kind of mushrooms these are, but like I used to play with mushrooms in the garden all the time when I was a kid. Probably mostly turkey tail. These are not turkey tail, but they were cute. So they look more like magic mushrooms, but it's fine. Um, yeah, so these are all things that really remind me of my childhood. When I was little, I used to take these seed pods from the sycamore trees and, and put them on my nose and play with them. Um, I always was fascinated by moths. I thought they were like way cooler than butterflies. And I loved how like fuzzy their bodies were and stuff like that. So, and I've always loved bumblebees, probably because they've got these little fuzzy bodies too. He did such a good job on that. Like, look at the texture in here. I could cover my face. So you could see it better it's still a little peely and it's dry right now I gotta put stuff on it but let me tell you I've been using the where is it here CBD salve from premium Jane you guys I have a discount code if you haven't ordered from them before I am obsessed with this company and this one is the soothing eucalyptus I'm like almost out of it this has been a game changer for this oh, drop my chapstick um highly recommend checking them out they have oils they have edibles too they have thc stuff as well not just cbd they're a u.s based company there's nothing in here that's bad um like i use this as a regular moisturizer works really well but the cbd in there also helped reduce inflammation like I didn't have any inflammation at all with these like at all the healing process has been super super easy and I think that this stuff has a lot to do with it so I'm not sponsored but I do work with them so I do have an affiliate link if you shop through it I do make a small percentage it doesn't cost you anything more to shop through my link and use my code actually you'll save by using my code they have really good sales and stuff too so i definitely recommend um signing up for their emails and then you can always use my link and i appreciate that because like i said i do make a small commission but i 100 percent back these products it has amazing amazing ingredients made in the usa like what more 
could you want? You can take a screen grab of those ingredients if you're like me and you like to know everything that's in there. There's nothing in here that I take issue with. So some vegans might have an issue with beeswax. I don't. I usually don't like it because I find it drying when it's in like products, but this is not the case for this one. These are all oils that I would put on my skin and do put on my skin. Plus, I love shea butter. And yeah, plus it smells good. It's eucalyptus. It actually smells like the stuff they put on your tattoos after anyway. So I've been loving this. It's not just for sore muscles and joint pain. It also works really great <laughs> as a tattoo self. So highly recommend trying this out if you get really irritated and inflamed after a tattoo, especially if you're getting color and they're really packing it in. So that is it for this video. This is the cutest thing ever. Oh, I kicked you. So I know this isn't going to be like the most popular video in the world, but hopefully you enjoyed it anyway. Ooh, help me name this kitty in the comment section below. Um, yeah, and that's really it. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and getting to know me and my tattoos a little bit better. I don't think I'm forgetting any. Oh, I have a little cross up here. I did forget that one, which is really old and poorly done, but I feel like everybody has that same tattoo. <laughs> so there's that. But yeah, I lost count. I don't really know because like, do you count each of these as like individual things? Like, it's, it is what it is. Let me know in the comments below if you have tattoos and if you enjoy getting them and um, if you think you want to try this. I definitely recommend it. It is a good time of year to get ink. A lot of people like to do it in the summer, but I don't recommend swimming or going out in the sun or anything like that when you have fresh ink. It's not going to be good for the longevity of your tattoo. So public service announcement, go get a tattoo. It'll make you feel better. <laughs> and then buy yourself some of this to put on it. See? They agree. They're sounding the Hoya sirens for you <laughs> to go buy Hoya and get tattooed because it'll make your day better. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you should give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button if you want to be part of the official plant fam and see more videos like this where it's not necessarily always plant related, just hanging out, getting to know me, opening mail from plant fan members and uh, hanging out. So yeah, <laughs> that's really it. I appreciate you fam. And I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.